Well, if you had to go to work or take the kids to school this morning, it was a little bit messy on the roads with our yeah. second big storm of the season, and snow plows have been going all night long. And a big storm hitting just at the wrong time, right? New specialist Kara Brackett checking in with the plow drivers. And Kara, there is more work ahead. Right now, they are filling the snow plows with salt to get ready to tend to the roads. Inside of that, eight yards of salt to help keep you safe. To give you an idea of how much eight yards of salt is, that's about like four refrigerators. In other words, a lot of work to get done on their route. Rinse and repeat. They go out and they do their route and they salt and then they come back and, and get some more. Leading up to snowstorms like this week's, Jake Brown, UDOT Region 2's South Area Supervisor, says they're getting the weather forecast twice a day, calling in guys early to go to work. And we plan around the commute. The commute is probably the worst time it can snow, uh, and that's when you have the most amount of traffic on the road. Putting down anywhere from 150 to 250 pounds of salt per lane mile to help tackle that, he says they tried to break up the work in shifts so they can cover a 24 hour day. Like a snowstorm this morning, seemingly there and gone in a flash, there's still work to get done. Speeds actually pick up. Once the road starts getting a little slushy, speeds start to pick up. But the snowplows are still out there doing their job and just to be aware of them and give them plenty of room. Now, as a driver, how you can help snowplow drivers do their job, you can give them plenty of space and move out of the way for them as they are on the road. They say they don't want to make things any more tricky for you as a driver. Rather, they want to make things easier, so give them that space. For now, they're reporting in Bluffdale. I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News. Kara, thank you very much.